what's good people, what's good? Long time no see. Long time no see out here. It's still sunny out here in California. Dang, this is a huge RV. It's a huge RV, holy shit. Dude, and we're seeing more of these things, man. Well, granted, there's like a huge ass fire that's near me. I'm in California, as you guys know. There's like a huge fire. So a lot of people are coming up from that fire. Dang, there's another one. Or no, that's like a, that's something else. But yeah, as you guys know, I live in California. I know there's, there's people doing work. There's like a huge ass fire. So people are coming up from there. Actually at my work now, I see that a lot. But then, I mean, there's a lot of people just living on the road was the point I was getting to. But yeah, I mean, at my work now, yeah, I have another job. It's my fourth job in a year. And I work at Walmart. I'm not gonna tell you which, which Walmart, but I work at a Walmart that's near me. I'm not gonna tell you which one. But like, yeah, they're you're seeing a bunch of those RVs and things now because people are coming up from those from those fires and they're like they're moving like half their shit with them because they're forced to evacuate. Like, and I feel like those fires are just getting closer and closer to like where I live, man. And to be honest, I never really had to deal with natural disasters growing up, but this is the first time where I'm like, okay. Like, it's not earthquakes for me. Like, that's more Southern California. But these fires, it might be the fires. Like, everywhere in the United States, I feel like you have to worry about natural disasters wherever you are, whether it's hurricanes. Like, if you're in the Southeast, if you're in the Midwest, you got tornadoes. If you're in Southern California, you got earthquakes. And now if you're even in Northern California, I mean, in the Bay Area, too, also earthquakes. But now if you're in Northern California, you have these fires, man. And even where I live, like, there, these things are just like an hour away. Like an hour, a couple hours away from where I live. Dang, this dude renovated his house. Renovated his property. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm on the other side. No, he did renovate his property. Dang, that's crazy. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go through this way. That's pretty tight. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is, man. But yeah, 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 I got another job, though. I'm at Walmart. Dude, and I get a paycheck. And now I'm about to, like, get fired or quit now that I get that one paycheck. This is what it is. Like, I work, get a paycheck, and I'm gone. Like, I'm just, I'm sorry, man. I feel like I'm retired, dude. Even this channel, I told you guys I would give you two years at least, so it is what it is, like two years. Um, we'll see, but dude, even this channel, like I feel like I'm retired from everything. I'm done. Like, I'm done with my shop. This is what it is, dude. I'm sorry. And dude, silent quitting, man. Silent quitting. I was reading a Bloomberg article where they were talking about this new generation of people, or we're, we're, they call it silent quitting, where we just, I mean, we call, we refer to it as ghosting, where you just leave, you just don't show up, you just stop showing up, and that's it, you just ghost, you ghost, like you stop showing up. I, I, I'm surprised it's such a phenomenon, dude. I, I'm surprised, like, the older people are so surprised about it. The older people are so, they're so surprised about that phenomenon. I'm kind of surprised that they're surprised. But then you, you, you just, that's just the generational gap there. It's just the generational gap that we're witnessing. Because to me, that seems complete, like, I don't know. It just seems, makes a lot of sense. Like, I ghosted from my last job. Like, I might ghost from this one, but this one I like better. But still, I might ghost from it after getting one paycheck. 
like I might I might just ghost from the thing because like for one thing inflation just off top and I hate to say it that way I hate to like just because that's not a good thing to just ghost from like technically I mean I might get fired even too because I've come late like damn near half the days I've been employed there I came late like not even because they give you a grace period of 10 minutes I came late like damn near an hour like 45 minutes like 30 minutes I've con that's like my average my average starting time is 30 minutes after when I'm scheduled to be there but also I stay until closing all the time so I stay until 11 p.m all the time which is usually like a couple hours longer than I like that I'm scheduled I'm like usually scheduled to leave at nine and that's because they let me do it and I'm already there and I have some friends there now so I just kind of like talk to them and it's only like 30 more dollars which actually for me is decent because I'm like dealing with having zero dollars so third you know a benefit of 30 dollars is actually kind of decent like so I'll take that 30 like per day too so it's actually you know that yeah I mean maybe that kind of adds up but it, this inflation dude's like I mean I get food for free so fuck it I get housing for free like you got to compete with inflation somehow but you know, okay, it is what it is like you got to do what you got to do man people out here doing what they got to do but you know I mean that $30 it's in place like the thing I pay for now is gas basically that's what I spend money on why is there a golf ball like, out in the middle of nowhere. I would pick it up. I used to do that when I was a kid. I would pick up golf balls that I saw, like, around the ways. And I almost got hit with one, too, when I was walking back from posting, like, one of my last videos, like, last month. Dude, that, that shit's dangerous, bro. Like, that, that shit is dangerous. I don't, and I still, I don't know how they do it. How do you coordinate that shit? How do you coordinate that? Dang, we're already seven minutes in. Dude, how do you coordinate that shit? Did I almost, I didn't really almost get hit, but the thing is, if the dude missed, if his trajectory was off just a little, like a few degrees, I would have gotten hit with a golf ball. And like, that's not good. Like imagine if I got hit in the head with that. That's so possible. Like how do you coordinate that shit on a golf course? And anybody could too, cause I was on a regular ass path. Anybody could get hit like it wasn't I wasn't doing anything special. I was just walking on a regular ass path on the golf course And I don't know how close it was to a hole, but dude anybody could get hit with that shit That was super dangerous and then he walks like he walks by me later and he's like He's like, oh, did you see a golf ball around here? I'm like what? I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? He's like, did you see a golf ball? I'm like, bruh Dude, I'm like, yeah, I saw it. I saw it in the air, too. I legit saw that shit in the air coming all the way and almost hitting me. Yeah, I saw that golf ball. Like, he's like, did you see a golf ball on here? I'm like, dude, I'm like, come on, man. That, that's funny. I mean, the whole thing was funny, to be honest. Like, it was, see, more people playing golf. Dude, it's a Friday. I guess it's a Friday. Dude, there's people playing golf every single day here, dude. And you wonder why the economy is bad. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The economy is trash. And a lot of these people are, like, retired, too. So, to, like, do my dad might start playing golf out here once he retires. I mean, that's if he doesn't go back to Nigeria. But, man, like, economy is trash. Dude, what, dude this, this is a popular day out here on these slopes. I'm going to go this way to this neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean... Uh, yeah, that's why I'm not trying to do I can't save the economy. Dude, so much things I tried to do, like it just doesn't matter. That's why I'm kind of retired. I'm with these guys. I'm 25 years old, but I'm damn near retired, dude. Like, I'm with all of these dudes playing golf out here. I'm, I'm retired, bro. I'm retired. Like, what am I going to do? Economy's trash. 
Like, we're, dude, I'm retired. What, like, you, after I get this paycheck, dude, I might go to my own job. It's just, like, because that's going to be, like, a thousand bucks. I'm just going to, I'm going to sit on that thousand for, like, as long as possible. Like, I'm sorry, like, it's just... So you got to call it stagflation. I'm going to sit on that money as long as I can and just watch it, like, get devalued. Like, freaking monthly get devalued. There's another, I think, we had the Build Back Better plan passed. We had the Inflation Reduction Act passed. Now we're going to get student loan forgiveness. Like, I mean, actually, which, you know, I'm not mad at. Like, to be honest, I have so many student loans that, that bill that they passed isn't gonna do jack shit for me. Like, bro, I went to farm school, dude. Like that, like they're talking about ten thousand dollars or something. That ain't gonna do jack shit for me at all. Like, nothing. I mean, it will do something, but like to me, they're gonna inflate away my debt. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna inflate away like all of my debt, and like by the time I have to pay that shit back. The dollar is gonna like basically it's not gonna be valuable at all like so that's how I'm gonna get rid of my debt probably is the whole shit like a dollar will be worth like people will be shoveling dollars into their fireplaces and that's how my debt's gonna get relieved because then I'm gonna be like all right well like do you want this paper like who wants this and not even paper at that the thing is we won't even be able to shovel paper into our fireplaces because it's all electronic we're going to be shoveling like our phones and shit into that because that's where the money is now it's not even in paper money i think like how much what percentage of the money supply is in paper it's not that much like i don't want to give you exact numbers but i think it's like three percent or some shit Dude, all that shit's online now. That That's just more reason why. Like, if you think about it from an actual, just practical perspective, that's why it's clown world. But if you think about it as if, you know, you're actually trying to, like, you know, you go to school and study economics. Like, that's why all these economists are just fucking, like, unless it's, like, Peter Schiff or something or, like, some dude who's like right brained enough to to like take in take into account the whole perspective like if it's just a regular left brained economist you're going to be getting all of these like oh it's modern monetary theory and like oh you know let's fuck with interest rates let's do this do that like let's pretend like we're we're actually you know fucking around with this thing Let's pretend this isn't, like, complete, just, like, bullshit here. Like, like a regular left-brained economist doesn't really realize that weight. You just, like, you print it out. You printed the futures of, at this point, a solid two generations you fucked over. Like, with your, with your monetary theory, dude. I mean... Uh, at, at this point, a solid two generations. You could argue, like, okay, so the millennials got fucked, the Zers got fucked. That's, and you could argue the Xers got fucked. So at least two, if not three generations got fucked over with this. And now it's modern monetary theory. So the Zers... Like, the Zeros are already, they're already, like, they're already fucked beyond, like, what the Millennials got. And I'm at the beginning of that. Like, dude, the Zeros aren't even, they're barely, they're not even working yet, really. Like, a lot of them. Like, the older ones are. But that, I mean, to be honest, the older ones aren't. Like, look at me, dude. The Like, most of them aren't. Like, that's how bad it is. The older ones are of prime like they're definitely like if they're able like i'm able-bodied barely like and that's that's the other thing the health got fucked up too that was actually the first thing that i noticed that was the first thing i noticed like that was the first thing i noticed to be honest like when i was preparing to work because i thought i would have a career and all this other shit 
that was the first thing I noticed because I was in school for that stuff for healthcare, and I'm like, wait, hold on. Like, are we really just drugging the populace? And dude, and I got drugged even to that pisses me off, kinda. Like, arguably, I put myself into that position on purpose. And I have to stop doing that because I feel like I learned enough now so I don't need to keep doing that shit. Like, I, I arguably did it to learn, but dude, even I got drugged and I'm not, like, doing that, like, uh, like according to, like, just long story short, I mean, I already told you guys about that psych ward shit, but long story short, like, they drugged me even, like, and I was asking a bunch of questions, and they, like, drugged me, and uh, that there, there's actually been another incident since then that I'm just, like, not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, I might say it in another video, but, like, I had to go to... Like, a, I had to go to, like, an emergency room in the past, like, few weeks. And, like, they, I was, like, asking them a bunch of questions. Like, just about, like, inflation. I was asking them about record keeping. I was, like, asking them about, like, like women and shit. Like, just, and I was kind of making jokes. But, yeah, like, then they just drugged me. Like, instead of just... They just drugged me. Instead of, like, engaging with me, they just, they, like, drugged me and, like, put me to sleep. They tranquilized me, essentially. And I'm just like, wait, so if that's how you're treating, if, like, that's how you're treating the public, dude, like, we're fucked. Like, that's why I'm retired. That's part of the reason. That was, like, the latest transgression in which I'm like, okay, I'm basically retired. And if you, like, fuck with my shit, if you try to come and like take me from my house I'm like just gonna kill you at this point like if you're to be honest like because I'm not or like kill myself after like I kill you because like I don't want to go to jail because I'd rather just die to be honest than go to jail but like yeah that's kind of like the point I'm at now and like I'm saying it on camera so like if those because at one point there were like sheriffs and policemen watching my videos and I don't know if they still are like to be honest I doubt it <laughs> but yeah like I'm just like yeah I'm sorry dude I'm I mean it's what it is dude and I'm not trying to be in those situations again but that's like kind of what it is now like I'd rather like I'm not really trying to like politic and bullshit with these people anymore so, like, I mean, I'm kind of saying it in a laughing way, but, like, because I hope it doesn't come down to that. But, yeah, and I'm, to be honest, I've been telling, I've told certain people, which I'm not going to say their names, because just in case, you know, like, the feds, I'll just call them the feds, just in case the feds are watching this shit. So I'm not going to say their names, but, like, that's kind of how it's been for, 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 like, a long time. So, like, the reason I'm kind of saying it so callously now is one, because I hope it doesn't happen, but two, I kind of made the decision. Like, I didn't make the decision just now. Because I don't really, like... Like, that's part of the reason I'm retired, dude. Because I don't really, like, fuck with these people. Like, and I'm sorry, dude. Like, it is what it is. I, I'm just, I'm sorry, man. Like, I fuck with you guys, which is why I talk to you guys, like, the way I do. But Like, unless, like, some of the feds are subscribed, like, that'd be a... Cause I don't know who subscribed and like most of you guys like I gained a new subscriber like probably the part of the reason I'm posting this video at all today because I gained another sub so I'm like okay either this is helping somebody so I'm gonna be I'll post more or like I got another fed watching me like I don't know that's so that's super funny dude like my like my semi girlfriend would laugh at that like to be honest he's not really my girlfriend but like and like I probably won't dude that's super funny like just the way that like the have fun culture everyone's like have fun dude even at my coworkers, like have fun like make sure you have fun and then settle down later I'm like bruh like I'm supposed to have fun with this girl dude like I'm not really gonna do it like I'm not gonna do it like I'm, I'm just not I'm not gonna do it 
they I'm not gonna and I don't really feel like I'm missing out either I don't really know how to describe it to you guys like this doesn't seem fun to me I'm not gonna do it I'm sorry and like there's another girl too like I'm just not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it I'm like I'm not gonna do it I don't know what to tell you guys I'm not gonna do it I'm like I'm just not gonna do it like this is what it is but that's what people call fun dude like that's what people call fun and that's like what I'm not engaging in so I'm like it's just I'm not gonna do it like maybe I might regret it later I don't know this is what it is yeah people working here I don't want to distract people working yeah man like this is midday it's like 1pm out here like, this is the new economy, man. People like YouTubing. Like, this is the most work you're gonna get out of a Generation Xer, dude. Like, a streamer, or like a YouTuber, or like somebody who's like an Instagram model or some shit. That's basically it. That's it. Like, that. that's what we're gonna get out of here, dude. And like, most of them won't even be successful. Like, the vast majority won't be successful. And like, they're just gonna ghost on society. Like, whatever. Dude, one of my coworkers, he was 18. He was freaking hilarious. The dude's like, it's a wasteland out here. And I was like, dude, that's the most accurate thing I've ever heard. I've never heard anything, like, just said so bluntly and so accurately. He's like, it's a wasteland out here. I'm like, yep. Like, even if I walk past these nice homes. He's like, it's a wasteland out here. I'm like, yep. I'm like, dude, yep. Like, he was, like, 18. Dude, that guy's so funny. Like, I was hilarious. I'm like, dude, you're so right. Like, he's like, it's wasteland. And that's how it feels like for, like, a younger person. Like, who doesn't really know how this shit happened. Like, I just learned about most of this shit. I just learned about, like... I mean, I just call it inflation, dude. That's the thing I blame. I just call it inflation... And most people still don't even know what that means, dude. Like, to be honest. And that's what I realized. Too. I was reading something that I wrote when I was in 8th grade. I wrote... I was reading... And I was... Like, even in 8th grade, I was talking about... Like... Basically trying to take away the debt from all countries. I don't know how the fuck I knew this, dude. I don't know how the hell I knew about debt at all like I don't know how I even wrote those words I'm like trying to figure out who told me to write that shit because I there's no way in hell I knew about that shit at eighth in eighth grade like I was it was one of those letter to yourselves that I was supposed to open when I was a senior in high school which I did but I mean and I read it when I was a senior in high school but like dude, I'm 25 now so I forgot what I wrote back then so I read it again and I don't know, even, dude, how the hell did, when I was a senior in high school, like, and then that, everything is starting to make a lot more sense now. I don't know how the fuck I knew that stuff in eighth grade. Who, like, how did I, I didn't even use the internet that much back, back in eighth grade. I don't know how I knew that. Like, how did I, who told me what to write on that? Like, there's no way that came from my own brain. And that's, like, part of the thing that I'm, like, People just, like, some things you pick up early, and that sticks with you. Like, for me, it just happened to be, like, that national, like, that debt, that money stuff. Some people never learn that. And, like, I probably wouldn't have ever learned it if I didn't pick it up that early. Like, that's the only reason I know what I'm talking about when I, like, at least a little bit. Like, that's the reason I know about interest rates now. Like, I know about inflation I know about, like, money supply. Nobody knows that shit. Think about it. Barely anybody knows that. Hardly anybody knows about those terms at all. When they see prices going up, people don't even call it inflation. Like, how the... F like, when I, when I started buying gas, when I first got a car, in California, gas was $3.30. And now gas is like $5.60. 
Nobody, like, that doesn't mean anything to anybody. That barely means jack to most people. The vast majority of people, that doesn't mean anything to them, really. Like, to me, it's, like, inflation, it's money supply, it's spending bills, it's wars for oil. Like, I don't know, like, all that stuff I picked up along the way. Like, dude, that's why it's, like, those people who like never got any peace leave or whatever and like now they're pissed because now they're like 50 or like I don't know like there's some age and like they just never picked it up it's like the same concept it's like you just some people pick it up early and that's just you never like it's just you picked it up early like you picked it up early and that was it like some like if you just don't pick something up early you just sometimes you never learn it like there's like cars for example like i can't fix a fucking car i just or actually granted to be honest now i kind of probably kind of could like one because i have a friend that knows that shit and two because my car broke down a couple of times now so now i'm like okay so that's how this works. i like looked under the hood so now I kind of understand it, but, like, that's not my pastime, you know? Like, I couldn't really do it that well unless I was really forced to, which, you know, hopefully I'm not. And that's, you know, part of the reason why this money shit, people just, they try to get a good job and that's it. Like, but that's also part of the reason why I was never really concerned with getting a good job. Like, a quote-unquote, like, to me, this is kind of, like, to me, no fucking job. Like, dude, I don't... I'm just, like... No job to really a good job to me. Like, and that, that's all, I mean, like, that's like kind of a lie, but not really. Like, that's like maybe an exaggeration is probably how I'd put it. I'm trying to figure out how to get back home now. Like, that maybe it's an exaggeration, but that's, I mean, that's part of the reason why I was never really concerned with getting a quote unquote good job. Because I, like, even from that early of an age, from literally 8th grade, I was thinking about, like, national debt and stuff. Like, I was thinking about money in a way different way. Like, usually people just try to get a good job. And they call it good. Like, that's the only thing they care about money. Like, that's the only thing. They're just like, okay, I'm going to try to get a good job. Like, did I, I dropped out of, like, getting a good job. Like... I don't know, man. Like, that that's just... Things are, like, just freaking hilarious. Like, and it's the same... Do, like, I mean, the reason I always talk about, like, women and... I mean, partly because that's the reason my YouTube channel got big. And, like, dude, I got shocked. I was so surprised when that was such a big deal. Dude, I'm still surprised. I'm still surprised about that. Dude, I'm still surprised about that. Not gonna lie, I'm still surprised about that. Dude, like, do you want one? Like, do y'all want one? Because I have two and I'm not gonna have quote unquote fun at all. Like, whatever is fun, I am not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Like, I'm just not, I'm not gonna do it. Like, I'm still, dude, I'm, like, that's why I'm retired. Like, that just rounds... Okay, we're going to round up the video now. But that's why I'm retired, dude. I'm retired. I'm still surprised about that. Dude, I am retired. Y'all can have it. I've been saying the same thing since I was, like, six years old. Y'all can have it. And, like, I can't believe, like, y'all are still in it. Like, come on, bro. Dude, that's crazy, bro. Since I was six years old... Like, I just, that, that never, dude, I thought girls had cooties. Actually, dude, I might, I'm going to do another video just because I'm, I'm enjoying talking now. And I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I'll probably post too. I can't believe we're at 30 minutes already. Dude, this has been, this has been some kind of video. But, dude, I'm still surprised about that. Y'all can have it. Bruh, you got to be kidding me, dude. Like, we really, y'all need to. Listen to some CGA, dude. Listen to some Kurt Cuck Adams. Like, me, like, the thing is, I haven't really gotten... Okay, this one's gonna end. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace out, guys. Peace out.